In this series, we're going to cover CSS Flexbox, and Flexbox is sort of the alternative to using the CSS Grid. Now, one question you might ask is, what is the difference between CSS Flexbox and CSS Grid? And it's actually rather simple. Flexbox allows you to create the layout in one dimension. So you can either work against a row or you can work against a column but not both at the same time. And that's what the CSS grid does. It allows you to work in two dimensions. So you can specify rows and columns at the same time. Now, one common misconception out there is that the grid is superior to Flexbox. And actually that's not true. They both have their pros and cons like anything in the world. But it's good to learn both layouts so that you can be more flexible in terms of what you want to pick. And actually you can combine both of them and we will talk about that later in the series. So that being said, let's Let's get going. And as usual in all my series, I want you to create a website folder and I want you to create an index.html and a style sheet. And if you've followed my other lectures, you probably already have this type of setup. So first thing I want you to do is create a div inside the body section. And then what we're gonna do is create a class. And let's go ahead and call this flex container. So this class will contain all the code for our Flexbox layout. We're gonna put it right in here. And actually I spelled that wrong, I apologize. Get rid of the T, there we go. So again, this Flex Container class will contain our entire Flexbox layout. So this is where we will specify all of the code that will control our layout. Now what we need, of course, is another div. And this will actually be created for our sections. So we'll go ahead and specify another class here. And let's just go ahead and call this box one. And then let's put some text inside of our box. We'll just call that box one again so that we're uniform. And then let's go ahead and close out the div. Now let's go ahead and actually copy and paste this. And let's create three more boxes. And then let's go ahead and just change these appropriately. So we'll call this one box two. We'll call this one box three. And finally, this will be four. Good, so we've got our sections defined and we've got all the HTML code that we need for now. So let's go ahead and save this document and let's flip over to our style sheet. And let's go ahead and create the code for our flex container. And to start out, we're gonna use the display property. And by the way, if you took the series on the CSS grid, this is the same thing we do here. It's the same process, but instead of grid, we specify flex here. That's what we do. So at a basic level, this is all we need. We just need to set the display to flex. And then let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. And let's now start creating the code for our boxes. So we'll go ahead and call this box one. And let's set the background color first. And let's set it to dark green. And then let's go ahead and align the text. So we'll do text align. And let's just go ahead and put that in the center. And let's set the color of the text to white. By the way, you can put in whatever you want here. I'm just using default colors here. And then let's set the width of the box to 100 pixels. And let's set the height to 100 pixels as well. So this will have a box type of feel. And then let's put some margin between the boxes. So we'll set that to 10 pixels. And we'll put a little bit of padding with inside the box itself. And let's set that to five pixels. Good, there we go. So we've got all of our code that we need for our box one. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this. And we'll create some code for our box two. We'll set this to two. And all we're really gonna do here is change the color. And we'll just set this to blue. And then let's go ahead and create the code for our box three. And of course we need to change the class. And then let's go ahead and set the color to purple. And then finally we need to create the code for our box four. And let's go ahead and we'll make this color black. Okay, let's go ahead and save this and let's fire this up and make sure everything works. And there you go. We've got our four boxes and we've got our basic layout using the Flexbox CSS model. And it's working just great. So this is a very good start, but there's much more to CSS Flexbox and we'll talk about that in the next video.